Michelle's appetizer course. I love this appetizer. It's very simple. It's very forgiving. It's an easy appetizer. It's one of my um, biggest requests when I do catering. So it is baked asparagus wrapped in prosciutto di parma. And there's a little bit of a cream cheese, Vidalia onion smear on the inside. And when cream cheese puffs, it gets nice and light and creamy. It's really lovely. So we're gonna start with prosciutto di parma and we're gonna roll up the blanched asparagus. The cream cheese is room temperature and you really need it to be room temperature, otherwise you won't be able to just smear it on there. And then you start it at the bottom and then you just roll it up and then you lay it on the cookie sheet and when you're ready you're going to just bake it for seven minutes. So we are going to pair Michelle's dish with a French saunier which is a sparkling wine from Burgundy. It's 100% Pinot Noir and a Pinot Gris from California in the Russian River Valley. Both of those should pair with these dishes, but we want to find out what you think is the best. I love the that? way the cream cheese just sort of touches onto it. Yeah. It, with the olive oil, it really is a nice and flavor. And it brings it all together. Mm -hmm. And then you have the asparagus, which is slightly bitter, so you want to think about that in your tasting, too. Um, and then you have the creamy, the fat from the cream cheese, but that all comes into picture when you're doing your wine tasting. Right. These wines pair well with this dish because of the creaminess, that both of them um, cut through or highly acidic and cut, can cut through the cheese and also the prosciutto di parma to make it a better quality. Absolutely. Right, Rachel, what is your favorite of the two? Well, can you show me the bottles again? For the yes, um, JCB 69 and that is from Burgundy and it's 100% Pinot Noir and um, I actually helped sell JCB wine. So that's John Charles Boisset. He's originally from Burgundy. Uh -huh. And then he opened up a bunch of wineries in California, but that one is actually from Burgundy. And he also married Gina Gallo. So they are very oh. <laughs> much the wine couple. So it's interesting because they're two pretty different wines, mm -hmm. but they both complement the dish so nicely in different ways. Yeah. The sparkling, um, it has a freshness, it's a palate cleansing mm -hmm. feeling with the creaminess um, of the dish and with the cheeses. And when you have the Pinot Gris, it's a little creamier, so it really picks up the creaminess of yeah. the cheeses. So um, do you have a favorite? Um, I prefer the sparkling rosé. Um, as the starter on this, it's always nice to start with a sparkling wine. Great. What is your choice, Matt? I, I would concur. I think that the rosé is a delicious. I, I it really is. never had something like this. It's I not know. quite champagne-y, but it's sparkly. Right. And it has a good flavor, and I think it really it, it shares with the flavor of the meat. With you know, I think they they complement each other. So I'm I'm more of a fan. Yeah. Oh. So I think the sparkling burgundy goes great with the prosciutto. The acidity and the salt uh, balance each other. Mm -hmm. But for the San Andre cheese, I actually <laughs> prefer the you know, you know, If I have to choose, I would say the sparkling burgundy. Okay, <laughs> but great. Yeah, we're good. that's fantastic. Thank okay. you so much. But they're both delicious. <laughs>